So when some people are trying to rein in their spending and save money, one of the first things that they will usually do is keep an eye on how much they've been spending on clothes, entertainment, and recreation. But these are not the only costs that can break your budget. So today we're looking at a few other areas that you also have to watch to avoid overspending. And I would like to thank Chirp for sponsoring this video. They're offering something that book lovers might enjoy and we'll talk more about them in a moment. So the first area you need to watch is insurance. Now when it comes to insurance premium, premiums, depending on the type that you have, you might have little control over how much you pay. But for many policies, such as home insurance or auto insurance, premiums, they can vary widely from company to company. So it is so important that you know your options and you shop around. Some people, myself included, make the mistake of only contacting one company, getting a quote, and then signing up for a policy without ever comparing rates. But one thing to keep in mind is that insurance rates are not the same across the board. So by taking time Time to get two or three online quotes, you can potentially save hundreds of dollars every single year, especially with auto insurance. Yet according to one report I recently read, about 40% of people shopping for auto insurance never shop around. But this doesn't only apply to auto insurance. Some people don't compare rates for home insurance either, meaning that a lot of homeowners will end up spending more on premiums than they have to every month. And not only do people not shop around, but some people also don't like change. So they'll sign up with a company and then stay with that provider for several years. And there's nothing wrong with this because loyalty, it can pay off, especially when it comes to insurance. But from time to time, it really doesn't hurt to see what other providers can offer because the company that offers the lowest rate today might not offer the lowest rate in five years. And before we move on, it's also important that you take advantage of all the discounts available to you. And you also need to understand the factors that can impact your rate. For example, if you have more than one policy with the same company, you might qualify for a multi-policy discount. Some providers will give a discount to seniors or people working in certain occupations and even your credit score can impact your rate. So if you pay your bills on time and you have a high score, you might save 15 to 20% give or take. So the second area to watch your spending is with subscription services. Now I am not going to tell you to cancel your services because I'm not canceling mine. But what I will say is that from time to time, you should really take inventory of all your subscriptions to make sure you're not unnecessarily paying for things. Nowadays, you can find subscription services for just about anything and it goes beyond streaming services. There's makeup, perfume, clothing subscriptions, and the list really goes on and on. And these services, they are convenient. You don't have to go to the store. The items are delivered directly to your door, but you really have to be careful because over time, your interest in a certain product could wane. But if you're so accustomed to paying the subscription, you might not cancel it or realize the impact that it has on your budget because $5 here and $10 there, it can add up quickly and you could be paying more for subscriptions than you actually realize. So from time to time, evaluate what services you're using, which ones you can go without, and then cancel the ones that you don't need. And this doesn't mean that you have to stop using the product because the company, they might have a non-subscription option, or there might be a company offering a similar product without the monthly subscription. And to give you an example, if you like listening to audiobooks, these are great because they can really help the time fly by quickly, especially if you're driving, you're cleaning, you're crafting, or you're exercising. And being able to get two things done at once can help you feel more productive. But audiobooks can be really expensive because some companies do require memberships or monthly fees. Chirp, on the other hand, is an audiobook retailer that offers amazing limited time audiobook deals. And there are hundreds of deals to choose from for up to 95% off. And unlike some audiobook retailers, it's easy to try out because there's no subscription fee and no monthly commitment. So this this year, I've been focusing a lot more on self-care because I deal with anxiety and insomnia from time to time. So for my selection, I chose two titles, one book titled Be Calm, which is normally priced at $19.95, but currently available at a limited time offer of $1.99. And the other book is titled Trick Yourself to Sleep. And both of these were perfect because I'm always on the lookout for practical tips. So if you're interested, you can get 50% off your first book by using my promo code, Broken wallet 50 and I will include a link and this code in the description below. So the third area that you have to watch out for is financing. The same way a lot of people do not shop around when they're purchasing home and auto insurance, 
Many people do not shop around when they're getting financing to buy a home or a car. And yes, I understand that comparison shopping can seem like a tedious process since you have to contact multiple lenders, but this process can pay off in a big way because when you're able to compare rates and fees, you're able to get the best deal, which can save you a lot of money in the long run. And I understand that some people are concerned about multiple inquiries appearing on their credit report, which could drive down your credit score. But one thing to keep Keep in mind is that credit scoring models they are designed to recognize rate shopping behavior so multiple similar inquiries that take place within a certain window will only appear as one inquiry on your credit report meaning you can reach out to three different mortgage lenders without your credit score taking a hit but one thing to keep in mind is that that window it can vary between 14 days and 45 days depending on the credit scoring model that that lender uses now obviously there's really no way to know which model a lender uses unless you ask. So my recommendation to be on the safe side is to do all of your rate shopping within 14 days. And to illustrate the benefits of rate shopping, let's say you get a $300,000 30-year mortgage with an interest rate of 3.5%. In this scenario, you're looking at a mortgage payment of about $1,543. Now, if you shop around and find a rate of 3.2%, your monthly payment would then drop to $1,490 which is a difference of about $50. Now I realize that a $50 savings doesn't seem like a lot, but if you were to take that same $50 and invest it every month, assuming a 7% return, you would have about $61,000 after 30 years. So the fourth area to watch your spending is medical bills. Even if you have insurance, if you go to the hospital for a test, a procedure, an illness, or even an injury, chances are you are going to get a bill. Now, if you get a medical bill in the mail, like a lot of people, you will probably do one of two things. One, if you have the money, you'll probably go ahead and pay it so you can be done with it. Or two, you might call the facility to set up a payment arrangement. But before you make either choice, it is so important, and I cannot stress this enough, but you have to go through every single line of your itemized statement. I cannot tell you the number of stories I've heard of people getting a medical bill in the mail and then going through their statement and finding duplicate charges or charges that they didn't recognize. And then when they call to dispute or question the charge, the rep, after going through their statement, will acknowledge the billing error, remove the charge, saving the person hundreds of dollars. So my point is, if you receive a medical bill in the mail, never assume that it's accurate because billing errors are so common and they cost a lot of people hundreds, even thousands of dollars every year. And another thing to keep in mind is that some medical bills are negotiable. So if you receive a bill that you can't afford, call the facility and ask for a discount. Now, this does does not always work, but sometimes it does. Some places will not volunteer information about relief plans, but they will let you know your options if you ask. So that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching this video and I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Here we talk a lot about money and personal finance. So if you like videos like this, I do post every weekend and sometimes during the week. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in a few days.